Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl's channel. This is Eclectnista, and today we are doing a fall 2020 coat and jacket update. So everything that I'm about to show y'all in the past two, maybe three months, I have purchased every single one of these jackets and coats that you're about to see, okay? Um, I've already done a purge for my uh my coat game for this um year so so far and i am going to be selling some of my previous coats on my poshmark or probably instagram or on my website so if you guys are interested in checking out steph's treasures that she's parting with y'all be sure to hit me up in the comments or y'all can hit me up via instagram at i am eclectnista because i think i'm going to go live when i get ready to showcase the coats and jackets that um i am I'm feeling i need to part with you feel me y'all when i tell y'all i have some finds and i have some pieces that I was a little like, mm, do I really want to give this away or do I really want to sell this? But the answer is yes, because um, how many uh, animal print coats do you really need? Like, how many? Well, it really don't matter because you know they all got like a different flavor to them, okay? However, like the one I'm wearing, I thrifted this one a couple weeks ago and y'all... I'm like so surprised it was like sitting there like waiting for me. I am going to throughout this uh, video I am going to be showing you guys what the coat looks like from head to toe. Um, I just am basically rocking some jeans and um, a turtleneck okay however I do have on this flaudacious flat Audacious, yeah. I make some words up, okay? I really do. This flydacious leopard print coat. So, y'all, this is double breasted. It's already nice and lined. Um, this clearly was custom for somebody. I've um, trust me, y'all. I don't be playing. I don't be playing. I don't be playing. I sages everything with some sage spray. Um, after this thing comes from the dry cleaners, the whole nine. Because, honey, we need to leave them, them spirits over there. You feel me? Anywho, y'all, I paid $14 for this fabulous coat. When I tell y'all, it ain't nothing like a fabulous ass leopard coat. You can have wear this with the most basic shit. And guess what? You just, bam, you just look like that chick, okay? This coat is never parting with me ever, okay? Um, it has the belt in the back I purchased. This is, y'all see it's got some fur around the collar. It's a mixture with leather. It has dolman sleeves. So, this coat has the dolman sleeves, the, um, the fur on the end of the sleeves, it is completely lined throughout and y'all I paid a pretty penny for this this coat but it's because I flipping loved it okay um I hate fifty dollars for this coat at the thrift store and when I tell y'all it was worth it honey it was okay here we go coat is like I, I i would like throw this on with like anything and be like cute is i don't know what do you feel me like oh honey it has uh clip closures here so like if you want it to close it up you can so it has it going all the way down so it can button the nights when you're going into the city and you want to be cute but you want to be toasty just button this bitch up, okay? That's all you got to do. Y'all, tell me this is not worth $50. This is going to be permanently a part of my, 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 um, my One Fly Diva Eclectic Nista coat collection. Do you hear me? This is forever. 
staying in it. It is a beautiful chocolate brown at that. Okay. Okay. Let me show y'all that coat I just took off for y'all. So, your girl ain't got to be doing a whole lot of double work. Because trust me. Y'all, by the time I finish this video, I'm going to be so tired. It ain't going to be funny. So, put that on the leopard. Bam. Okay. It is like mid-calf. Okay. Mid-calf. It has the belt detail on the back you know it like cinches your waist you know i just feel like i need a hat okay i need a hat to set this mother off and honey it is just like bam okay so now that you guys have seen this fabulous coat i can put lay it down this next coat i purchased um I parted ways with one of my gray pea coats this year. So it just so happens, lo and behold, this pea coat appeared in my life. Okay. It is a dark charcoal gray. It's definitely wool. Um, this I paid $25 for um, at L Train Vintage in Brooklyn, New York. And I just love like all the details like it has the black velvet like trim going around the shoulders, the sleeves, the pockets, then it's double breasted on top of that. And then it has like this this like skirt peplum like feel to it. I'll try it on and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working with. Okay. Tell me this is not feminine as fuck okay i flipping love this coat and it does button y'all just in case y'all wondering it does button up hold up i don't break a nail buttons up it's skirted as you can see it looks very very dainty okay and just want to be feminine and just be real fly and chic you see i have on turtleneck bam just pulls your look all together <sighs> y'all i fell in love with this coat when i tried it on and it fit perfectly like fit like it was made for me okay so i'll just give y'all another little twirl and bam this next piece um some people would not understand why i bought this but trust and believe i understand why i bought it i love the tribal navajo type print it has on it it's like a micro like a micro um microfiber like suede and then it's lined all in red microfiber suede as well i love this little detail that came on it um these westernized like buckles with the um the suede ties and it's on both sides you can cuff the sleeves to give a pop of that uh solid color underneath and y'all this is flipping fabulous do you hear me I got this one from L Train Vintage as well. And it has like that oversized like vibe, that oversized feel. Um, I have done an outfit with this, so I will insert pictures so you guys can see that right now. bam right okay child don't be afraid to mix prints okay don't be afraid i know y'all probably was like Ugh, did she really just wear a leopard with this navajo print jacket yes the hell i did and you want to know why because i was confident in wearing it okay that is the numero uno 
fashion tip I'm going to give y'all in this video. Everything you wear, wear with confidence. Don't give a flying fuck about what other people think or how other people going to be viewing you. Because they're going to be like, well, damn. I wish I could do that. I can't, I can't stand when people say, oh, well, you know. You can do it. It works for you. No, bitch. It can work for you, too. Okay? It's called effort. Effort. Try. Okay? Try. As a stylist, me, as a personal stylist, helping someone pull they look together. I'm going to tell y'all, I am like 100. I keeps it 100 real. I'm very professional in what I do. However, if we trying to change something that you apparently have not been doing for yourself and like get you your groove back you are gonna have to hear some shit that you might not want to hear and that may just be you know what are you tired of being a plain jane are you truly ready to step out of your comfort zone child and if you are you've hired the right person because i'm gonna come to you as a friend a sister friend okay but i'm gonna be that sister friend that um i ain't afraid to tell you like okay girl all this shit needs to go this is what we can work with and we can build from here and guess what if i tell you that guess what i'm gonna help you because i'm gonna show you how you can rebuild a whole wardrobe on a budget by doing some thrifting and some secondhand shopping child please save the environment okay but look fly as you do it all right all right I am loving this. I am loving this. I paid, I believe, $15 for this one. And I flipping love it. I do. I do. I own my shit. Do you hear me? Owns it. And you can own it too. Bam. So, just so y'all know, I have on a basic black turtleneck with some um boyfriend jeans that are distressed i do not have any shoes on because i'm clearly in my fashion den however i have this little nice little detail in the back for my um my turtleneck i get hot y'all like hot so no turtleneck the stephanie wear is going to be something that is a thick texture that is going to hold heat no, it's going to be either sleeveless, it's going to be um, thin material, it, sometimes it may be sheer, but I do not wear full on wool turtlenecks. I can't do it. I, I just can't. I can't. So, moving on to the next. This next jacket I got is of Asian and Oriental descent okay it is fabulous look at that look at that look at that okay it is about mid calf length okay it has the knots and if i wanted to close it up let's see i can close the one up i ain't gonna be trying to close everything up now okay but honey, oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> no pockets. Okay. That would bother me because I like to have pockets and stuff, and stuff. Okay. But as you can see, this is fly. Okay. Um, I got this at a thrift store. Um, I would not wear it closed. I would wear it open. So it can just be like a long like duster type jacket however y'all this was $5.99 mm -hmm. told you you can update your wardrobe on a budget okay in the spirit of flannel this season y'all during the fall and winter you must have you some flannel okay flannel is them ugly plaid shirts that look and feel like this but the twist on this one is this is a duster okay i believe it's a dress because when i clean and had this cleaned um that's when i noticed like all of these eyelet closures going down the side with this um 
Jamaican, Jamaican uh, like trim, this color trim, this print. And y'all, it's gonna be one of the dust because I don't think I'm ready for my dress, child. So, there we go. That pop of action. Okay, bam. So, let's just see. Let's see. Let's take a chance and see. Okay, so it has the tie in here. I'm not going to keep hope alive, y'all, okay? I have a booty and hips. So let's just see. Oh, snap. Excuse the hell out of me. Girl, hold up. Okay, there go two. Let's see, let's see. Can, can we do three? There go three. Okay. This is cute like this though. I could still wear like some jeans. It has the splits on the side like that. Okay, I, I'm feeling this vibe, y'all. See, I doubted my little self. Look, self had to check self. Bam. This is so cute, even closed up. I like that. Okay, yes. Let's see. No pockets. That's cool. Because guess what? This was only $7. Look at this little. Actually turned out to be a dress. Child, if I get a little smaller. Hold up. Child, y'all. I'm talking about getting a little smaller. I can close this bitch up right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is probably the only, you know, they say side effects, <laughs> the only side effect from having stress related issues is that, you know, you lose weight. Chavo, look at that. Look at that. And y'all like literally, I could go all the way down and I literally can wear this as a dress. Child, I love when I get double for the book. Did you hear me? So I had in mind this was just going to be like a duster. Child, I could wear this as a whole dress. I could keep this turtleneck vibe thing going and continue. It has about one, two, three, four more knots. And child, this has turned into a maxi dress. They got some little splits on the side. Now, I would probably wear like some boy shorts under this because I know if I'm doing like this at work or something like that, you know, I don't need to be shaking a tail feather and showing it. You know what I'm saying? But bam, that's a winner. Look at me sleeping on my own self. No, girl, no. Bam. All right, so when I checked my inventory, um, it was some pieces that I was missing, okay? One of those pieces was a motorcycle jacket that actually had gold hardware on it, okay? This motorcycle jacket is from H&M. This is a size 14. Um... I have another motorcycle jacket that I purchased from H&M that has like the belt and it's a size 12 and it's just that um you know, I know these European companies child don't be thinking about the sizing for the European people okay don't be thinking about women who got curves and you know some cushion you know what I'm saying but do you see now that looks bam okay bam matches that gold vintage belt I got on 
and look bam yes instant chic this is how you update your wardrobe now this one still has a tag on it because i still gotta go put this one in the cleaners so this one was 1995 bam next look i was missing a boyfriend jacket okay my girl bought a boyfriend jacket uh january of this year when we went to new york and i'm like damn i should have bought me one too boyfriend leather jacket kind of like oversized a little long this will do so here we go it's not oversized yet it is cut and it fits me perfectly y'all be surprised where this jacket actually came from this jacket came from flipping target okay but i thrifted it okay so it's got the little split detail in the back but how chic is this stop sleeping and on top of it the bonus it's lined in purple. Okay, so I told y'all, your girl, I never turns down nothing I see left with. This one right here, let's see, this one was $14.99. This is by Adrian. Ladina, and this is a 1x, but I did not care. Okay, I did not. It looks like a nice little short, um, like motorcycle jacket. Because to be honest, y'all, that's exactly what it zips up to be, and it is so com it's so warm. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. So, hold up. Pick it up. You know, I could wear a little pencil skirt with this. I could wear it just like I got it. And I still got mad room in it. Okay, it's got all these details on the sleeves, pockets. It's perfect. I like the fact that it's a little oversized, you know, because once you start putting, like, I, I would probably throw a hoodie on with this too, a, a black hoodie, and like let the hoodie hang out the back, and um, still wear probably like a pencil skirt just to keep the silhouette, the base of the silhouette, like slimming, yet this is where the volume will come in and throw on a cute clutch cute bag bam cuteness and last but not least this is my all-time favorite coat along with that leopard print coat that long one that y'all saw this by far is my second favorite it is a fur lover long coat okay y'all they was stalking me at thrift store. They was. I ain't gonna lie. They be on my ass. <sighs> like flies on shit when I be at the thrift store, okay? I promise you. Y'all done seen some of them thrifting um, trips I done took y'all with me. And y'all see they be on me. But child, look at this. Look at this, okay? Fly, fly and mo fly okay i just I, I can't even make this shit up you put this coat on i instantly go into bitch better have my money on time today like i say bitch better have my money or go sit your five dollar ass down before i make change do you hear me <laughs> This coat evokes my inner bad girl. It really does. It does. I'm loving it. Okay? Loving it. Whew. 
tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Y'all, this coat is flipping fabulous. And you wanna know how much I paid for this coat? $20. It's lined, it's in mint condition. Mint condition. <sighs> See, I took it off and the power is still, still in the coat. Put the coat back on and a bad girl gonna come back out. Y'all don't want me to show y'all that. So let's move on to the final coat. Here we go, bam. Okay, so last but not least, I've been wanting a plain varsity jacket. Ask me why. Why, Steph? Because y'all know I live with Jazz Originals, right? Yeah. So I found this at Plato's Closet in the men's department a couple days ago. And I paid $18 for it. By the time this is Jazz original out, this thing is going to probably be more worth more like $450, okay? Because I want, I want everything black woman like whew, black queen adjust your crown you know support your sisters black lives matter i want it to be inspired by that so it has the leather sleeves don't ask me who got rid of this all i'm gonna say is thank you it's oversized which i love once again and it's it's varsity style you know i could like sheet this up with a skirt some dress pants um just like how you see i got a turtleneck on with it t-shirt hoodie like there's just so much you can do and once it gets that jazz originals touch bam i'm in the house I'm in the house i'm in the house that i live in anywho y'all uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed my fall 2020 fall winter update to my jackets and coats because I have many however I purged and I just was very meticulous about what I wanted to add back into my wardrobe so y'all be sure to be following me on Instagram for when I make this announcement because I think I'm just gonna go live first one who come cash out they money it's yours and it will be in the mailbox and you can have a piece of eclectic collection as well so y'all i hope you enjoyed this haul try on haul i've never really done a try on haul um my first attempt at doing it so i hope you guys enjoyed it because i literally tried on every coat okay the next haul up is going to be probably my accessory haul as far as like my hat game, my updated boot game, um, because I have to pull my boots out. Like I need to switch out the shoes that's over here on this shelf, put the pumps and sandals away, and let's play, bring out the shoe game, okay? Let's bring out all the boots. So um, I'm ready. I got to go dig in because right now they in the closet, you know, in the sunken place. And I got to go pull them out the sunken place so that I can see them. You know what I'm saying? Because out of sight, out of mind. That's how I function. I hope you ladies enjoyed this sit down, try on haul with me. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. All right? Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I feel like I'm going to step. Hey.